<laughs> uh, a little bit of everything, right? I think power play's been good. PK's been good. Uh, Goal 10, I think we've been really good defensively. So when you do that, and you get opportunities to play offense. You mentioned power play, effective on both sides. 23-24 in the penalty kill. Two power play goals, I believe, last week, too. Nice uh, backdoor setups on both those power play goals. What about both ends of that spectrum has been working so well? I, I, well, it's tough to pinpoint exactly. I think just the energy, the, the mentality that the, both units have on power play and even the PK. Right? Yeah, we're not on the PK. We're not sitting back. We're in their face on the power play. We have an attack mentality, and I think it's been paying off. How important is it to keep that kind of a mentality here as we get into the final couple months here of the regular season and a couple of uh, matchups with some, some hot teams coming this weekend? Yeah, very important. Obviously, special teams at this time of the year and and uh, even in the postseason is usually very important. So, it's something that we uh, we're aware of and we keep working on. The way Stalbers playing and. How late we are now in the season? Is it? Is he going to get more looks, more ice time now? Is it that stage where you go with the hot goalie a little bit more? Or are you going to just keep mixing it up? He's been really good. I think Drew's been playing well as well. So I think right now we're just going to alternate. We'll see where we're at here. You know, it's changed just week to week. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with with Jackson's game in the last four or five outings here. How nice is it to have a little downtime this week uh, to work on some things or give some guys a little rest? Yeah, it's it's good, really good. Important time of the year to, to refresh bodies and mentally too. What was missing from Reichel's game with the Blackhawks this season, and how can you kind of help him get back on track a little bit here? Uh, I think a little bit. What we just talked about, the mentality of attacking, uh, the willingness to take pucks to the net, be around the net, uh, defensively, same thing, attack and not sitting back, just being on his toes, taking away time and space defensively from, from the opponent. And that's something that he can do and we've seen it in the past. So just getting him back to that level. How impressed and pleased are you with Pitlick and what he's been doing for you so far? Really good. Uh, obviously, he's one of those guys on the power play that's been really effective. I don't know exactly his numbers, but I know he's had four or five points on the power play since he got down here. So he's been really good there on the flank. 22 games left in the regular season. You guys are just two points out of that semifinal spot where you played that 2-3 matchup as opposed to the 4-5, which you've been in the past couple of years. What would it mean for you in terms of progress for this group to be in that top three finisher uh, come postseason? Yeah, we're definitely looking up, right? That's, that's kind of what we're chasing here. So um, next couple of games will be really important. I play some good teams here. Um, and I think down the stretch here, we play those guys a lot. So it's kind of up to us how we're going to fare against those teams. And um, yeah, they'd be obviously help our group out as well. And how do you manage this next stretch of games? I believe four or five straight on the road. You're not back here until March 16th. And not only that, but you're playing a variety of teams as well. How do you handle this next uh, stretch of, of games that you got coming? Uh, good question. It's it's game by game. You know, we take it one day, one day and one game at a time. We try to be in the moment. You know, we're here today, tomorrow's practice, and then we're looking forward to playing Milwaukee, and then we'll take it from there. You mentioned that Milwaukee team coming off, you know, an 18-game win streak. Have you ever seen anything like that, you know, maybe even back when you were with the Mission or just at any level of hockey to see a team that successful for that long? Uh, it's impressive. Yeah, they, they were, they're good. They're a good team, structured, play hard, compete hard. So uh, we're looking forward to the challenge and playing them. What kind of things happen? Players are having a players-only, non-players-only meeting of some sort, but... How often does that happen, and what kind of things do you hope they work out in these meetings? Oh, you mean today? Yeah. No, today is a, it's, a, it's something that we scheduled. Uh, it's a diversity meeting. Uh, Al Montoya is coming in to speak on diversity and the importance of that uh, when you're in the locker room. And so I think it's something that the organization is doing a good job of keep educating these young men of today's world that we're living in and the importance of how to handle yourself and people around you. So that's been scheduled for a while. Okay. I didn't realize they had a guest speaker. Yeah, no, that's it. <laughs> uh, how's uh, Luke Phil coming come along? I know February was the hopeful time frame he would be back for. How's he looking? Yeah, we'll see here. Hopefully we can get him on the ice here soon. Uh, not sure exactly the timeline on him. It's going to depend on a little bit day-to-day -day how he heals up here.